hi hello guys welcome back to my channel it's really nice to have you guys here so as you can see in today's video we're going to be working with 10 leds and we're going to be writing a computer program to form different kind of nice cool pattern on them and i think you guys will really love it so of course the first thing that we have to do is to um design our circuit so let's get right into it design our circuit and write the code hey hello guys so um this is how our circuit is gonna look so i was able to draw this diagram so that you guys will be able to see it i got a feedback from you guys that you are not able to see it clearly so please before you put anything in the breadboard please let me explain what is going on here all right so you guys don't do anything um bad right so you can see we have our arduino here okay so and we're gonna be using 10 uh leds right so 10 pins so from pin 2 to pin 11 all right so as you can see you guys know that we only have three grounds on, on our Arduino board but we have 10 LEDs so how do we do it so we take a ground from here and you can put it in here so what I didn't tell you guys so I told you guys that these uh, rows are connected this way right but this side of the board they actually connected on a straight line so if we put one ground in here so all of this will be ground and we can connect our leds into them and that's what is happening so the first thing i want you guys to do is to take your ground take it from here and put it here okay so then uh, notice the side where the uh breadboard is right here right so that um you, you will have it like the connection will be easy make sure that this red line is the one closer to your uh, arduino board right uh if, if you don't do it that way then you have to stretch your lead and that will not be good so make sure that this is the side in here then connect this to this blue line all right now take your first led the short leg should be in here then the long leg you can put it uh right in here so do that for all of the 10 leds the short leg should be in here where the uh the ground is which is the negative so after that then you take the positive leg put it somewhere here so just put space be uh, between them right so there's space in here so this is in here this is in here this is in here and this one is in here so do all of that make sure that the uh the short leg is in here and the long leg is in here so now we need our resistor so please guys i want you guys to use 220 ohms resistor okay so it's been labeled on your kit right then one thing i want you guys to know so when you take the 220 ohms out of your kit so you probably have to uh find a container to put it back in so that you can label it 20, uh, 220 ohm or uh, 220 ohms so that you don't uh, uh get it mixed up in future right so get a container or like a sachet or a liner or something i don't know put them in there right so that you will know what it is but anyways so put the first leg of the resistor in here then you can use the other side of your breadboard actually to, uh, to make everything neat so connect the other leg to the other side in here so do the same thing for all of them then after that so just connect your uh your uh point in here uh, your pin rather you know so connect to each of them so you can pause the video uh to uh, to look at the design but i think this should be straightforward uh, for you guys to uh to implement so now the last thing is to actually write the code for this so actually so this is the code right so uh are we so i've written it but i will explain it line, line by line so please let me explain it first before you start writing okay so this delay fast is just me uh, uh having a constant uh for delay so because I, I don't want to write 200 everywhere right so that's why i declare this and this is also useful if you want to change the delay so you, you don't have to change it uh in, in so many places you can just change it in here right so so pound define delay you can call this one anything but again you have to put it uh like change it in the, in the code down there so uh, so delay is 200 okay so you can make it 100 or 500 you no know, but i think 200 is good for what you are doing all right 
so then this one is me declaring an array so if, if you remember uh in, in the last uh, uh video so we have to declare our, our pin as pin two or three so imagine that we want to declare that then we have to use 10 lines so instead of doing that we can put them on a straight line so so we call it my lead then you putting this in here so it's so it's making it that it's an array so we have the array then you put the color braces then you put all the numbers that you want to use on your uh arduino board so we are using 2 to 11 okay so then this variable we later use it for something else right so just name it this way then also we have to make our pin mode to be output imagine that we have to do it for 10 leds so we have to write it all the way down but we uh, wrote a cool function right to do that so this is the led the size of means that the size of this guy then you divide it by the size of int then you have a for loop so you, so this for loop is going through all of this one by one because this is going to change from 0 to 1 2 3 to 11 and it will make them pin outputs you know that is, like this is a very clever way of doing it if you have multiple leds right so no need to write them on a straight line so we have our loop that will continue to run okay so this one actually the patterns that we want to form on our leds so our first one is fast flash middle ripple then I, I repeated this one okay so these are actually functions that uh i define down here so we can just write this one in here make sure that they are the same like no typo okay so then this so i have other two function in here so as you can see this one just turn all all the led on so uh, a for loop start from zero to the end of the uh total leds right then you make them i then this one is just to turn them off so then this function is just to flash uh, the led so you can see we turn it on we put a delay we turn it off so that is why you, you see uh that the uh that the led kind of uh, flash so let me see, you see that flash right that that flash in there see that let me flash so that is what uh this is about then we have a middle ripple uh so it, it, it will just go from the middle and so let, let me see if i can show you guys so the middle ripple is right there see just go from the middle and then uh to the uh end right so make sure that you write the code very well uh, so that you don't get any error then this paired alternating is the one that uh we turn two of the leds on so you can see this one is the one right so just turn two 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 on all right so this is the code just pause the video and you write the code I, 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 I would give you guys the code but i want you to write it so that you understand because the more you write the code the better you really understand how to code so write it by yourself pause the video and if you have any errors look at the video again and make sure that you write the same thing so when you are done so you compile your sketch and you upload it uh there's error so i have to select my board so you upload it uh let me show so you upload it compile so you can see now it's running so you can see right there very 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 cool design you know and again you, you can play with the code actually uh if you want you know just change you can change this number you know but don't change this right because i don't think you have enough uh maybe you see up in 12 and 13 but just limit it to this okay uh and i think that is it so in the next video we're going to be doing something very very cool we are going to be um controlling our led uh with remote right and we're going to be putting uh buzzer right so it, it it will be giving you sound as the as the led is turning on and we might actually use it to implement a piano right so just imagine that your arduino ball can play song right very cool right so that is what we are going to try to do in the next two weeks right to make the arduino board to play sound and to play song to play do re mi fa sola 
right and play song you know uh you know uh, on a certain key all right so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like my video subscribe and share uh and i will see you guys in the next video bye